beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine i do hope you're well and that you're having a lovely weekend and that you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you so i'm bringing in the dark truths today first of all i'm going to use some other decks and i'll show you them as i'm using them this beautiful deck that is created from guided by angels so let's see what this divine masculine has got to say for themselves today in this moment and in this moment it is so important very special for you divine feminines because it helps you understand what's going on with you this physical person that's coming to your life and you learn more about this journey from the messages from your divine masculine as well um so what's coming through Thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you would like support on your awakening journey, on your twin pain journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. So that one flipped out there under my leg. So I'm owning up, I'm taking responsibility. While we've been apart, I've been learning who I am. I really have changed and I want you to know that you can count on me to, the, to, to do the right thing. Sorry, there's a bit of hesitation there. So even though it's painful physically being away from you, it's been so necessary. So I can take this responsibility and take a look at myself and to learn who I actually am. Remember who I am. And I just hope that you, that you do trust me, that, that, that I can make things right between us. <laughs> um, so... Let's see what else wants to come through. I'm processing, I'm working out what to do, what to say and how to do it. That's why I need time, yeah. I do need this time, it's so precious to me right now. Um, and when we're processing things, when we're taking responsibility, it doesn't just happen in one morning, one day, one night. It does happen over a period of time and to our ego, that is very frustrating <laughs> um, and we do have to learn patience big time by being on this journey but as I said this time that your divine masculine is actually having with themselves processing everything learning who they actually are taking this responsibility is it is it's it's helping the, your relationship <laughs> Because this relationship with your, with yourself is so important, so the relationship with your divine masculine, it has to they have they have to be confident. They have to feel safe within themselves before they can actually even think about having a relationship with anybody else. And I know that some of you could be thinking, well, you know, they're okay to be in a relationship with um, whoever, blah blah blah, or that they've stayed in their marriage, um, but this relationship with you is completely different because it's divine and by them finding themselves taking responsibility they are finding that strength to get out of relationships to move away from um, marriages that they know that they shouldn't be in they're processing it and they're working on themselves and they're working out what to say to you as well and the hesitation when i pulled this card I'm owning up, come through. I'm working out what to say to you, what I can actually do. Um, and this could be, you know, they're working out how to get out of this relationship. Maybe if they are in a relationship, that isn't going to resonate with all of you, but working out what they can do to move this uh, relationship, you know, with you, beautiful divine and feminine, and what they're actually going to say to you. Are you actually going to listen? Um, you know, are you going to forgive them? Do you actually trust them that they can make it okay between you? Do you trust them that they're capable of actually doing that? Um, so, very powerful. I desire you. You are so sexy and hot. My body is on fire for you. Mm. And at times, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> because it's so intense, the passion, the desire. So, really feeling each other right now. You and your divine masculine, a lot going on. 
And in the 3D, in the physical, that could be very hard to believe and to trust because it's like, I don't think that they're desiring me because I'm not seeing no change in the 3D, in the physical. It doesn't seem to me as if they're taking responsibility or they're processing anything. They're just ignoring me. That isn't the case. And again, when you're in tune with yourself in your heart space, you you know that they're desiring you. You can feel them. You can you can you know it's going on, but it's in the three D. Then you come back and you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm, you know, I don't know what that sensation was, or I don't know what that experience was that I had. It can't be true. I, you know, I'm not going to trust myself because my divine masculine's not showing up for me. They're still in a relationship, or they haven't come forward yet. Whatever your situation is. <laughs> They do desire you and they are processing so much, sorting out so much and working out what to say to you, to say to other people, maybe they're involved. Um, I'm coming, yeah. I'm sorry for everything I said and did and I promise I'll make it right between us. I'm coming back. So there you go, right between us. It's come through twice in this reading. So believe and trust that this physical person that come into your life, no matter what has gone on in the past, whatever was said in the past, trust that they are capable of making, coming forwards in their truth, making things right with you. That when you know that you're capable, divine feminine, when you're trusting yourself, no matter what is going on with this physical person, that's when you will see results um, and you'll probably start seeing certain things where you know that your divine masculine is coming as well. You're, the God the universe will be sending you signs, synchronicities, showing you that they're coming back. But when you're in tune with yourself, you can feel them coming back to you because you're coming back to yourself. This is a journey of self. <laughs> um, so if you feel as if you're getting closer, you know that this physical person's coming back. And they're, and they're dealing with the fear about how you're going to respond to them as well, about them coming back because of everything that's gone on. They want you to know that they are sorry. And forgiveness, guilt and all of that has been coming through strong in these DM to, DM, in these DM to DF um, readings. So again, hesitation that's coming through this channel and today, the way I'm speaking. I'm thinking of you. I get nostalgic listening to music and I think of you. You are on my mind. However it seems to you, Divine Pims, I am thinking about you. And I know that there's so much I've got to sort out in the 3D and the physical. But know that I am sorting it out because I'm taking this ownership. <laughs> and I have been working through so much since we've been physically apart. And I'm still working through so much. So trust and believe that I am going to be able to show up for you. But it is very overwhelming, everything that's going on for me right now. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming back to you. Um, so let's see what else comes through. I'm going to use the Divine Masculine 101s next from Beautiful Liz as well. So this Divine Masculine is very passionate about making, you know, showing you that you can trust them um, and to, to clear, you know, just have this new fresh start, to clear and, you know, let go of what happened be between you in the past, for them to, to actually show you their truth, to come forward and speak to you and present themselves to you in their heart space. So that one flipped out. You are the only one I want. You are the only one I want. There is no other. But I can feel this way about. And that is difficult and challenging when on your journey you have other people involved because it's you know, like how could you know why are you still in this relationship then why are you not doing anything about it if you're the, if I'm the only one that you want again by having that attitude by seeing this situation from you know mind ego which where that comes from that's when you're 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 not gonna you're not it isn't gonna make sense it only makes sense when you're coming from soul when you're coming from your heart space not 
different old program conditioning. You know that this physical person loves you and you know that you are the only one that they want. However, as I said, your journey, you know, what you've both signed up for, because you may have soul contracts with certain people that you're having to learn through, you and your divine masculine. So there have been other people involved. But they're trying to say to you through this channeling today is it doesn't matter about anything else. It doesn't have to be about anybody, you know, another physical person. I know that you're the only one that I want. I'm very sure. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trusting that. I'm not, um, you know, trying to distract myself and avoid the truth if that's how I feel. I did that in the past and I can't do it anymore. And everything that I've been experiencing on my journey, it just comes back stronger and stronger that you are the only one that I want. Um, so, everything you want, I want too. So, if there's, you know, in the past we've had conversations with this physical person, your divine masculine, and it seems as if you both want different things, you do want the, the same thing. And maybe the things, you know, that, that those conversations back then, um, it was because, you know, it was coming from mind, ego, from fear. <laughs> that they wasn't, they didn't feel safe to say that they wanted those things too. But when we were on this journey, we changed so much because we go in <laughs> it's so deep within ourselves. And we actually, we, we do find that truth. And we think, well, we're actually... I, I've been doing this and thinking that I wanted this in my life, and actually I don't. <laughs> when you when you're when you know the truth, <laughs> um, so I do hope that you understand what I'm actually sharing. But they do want the same things as you, and the reason why they didn't say that before is because they were in fear mode, and they weren't seeing through the eyes of love. They weren't being their true, authentic self. Um, and yeah, so maybe you know, there wasn't a conversation, but you you're you're just le being left to it because this little person's come into your life and they've just left. They've turned your world upside down and they've just left and they've never actually said what they want. They're confirming with you that everything that you want and that knowing that you have of how you're you know what you're going to do with each other and the different adventures you're going to go on. They want that too. Um, I'm so sorry that I did that to you. I'm so sorry I did that to you, that I hurt you. I'm sorry has come true. Um, sorry, that's true. Sorry has come through twice again, as well as making things right with you. They are sorry. They didn't want to cause you any pain. And they've been having to forgive themselves in this preparation. And they've been correcting things, you know, within themselves, which is changing their behaviour and their whole approach to life. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry that I walked away. I'm sorry I lied to you. Um, it, it could be so many different things. It's only unique to you and you know what it is that's happened. I'm sorry that I, you know, I, I abandoned you and I've left you to it. I'm sorry that I didn't, give you that support and that love at that time that you needed it when you was having that difficult time um, and I try and understand why you want me yeah I try and understand that and that's a difficult one for me because I think you know what is it about me that you love so much especially when I behave so badly and I've said those things <laughs> and everything that's gone on why would you still love me um, and that's because that you know, this one is, as I said, it is a challenging one because it's about when you're, you know, secure within yourself. You've got that safety within yourself. You found that peace. You're content. You're confident, and you love yourself unconditionally. That's when you do understand why somebody wants you. But this divine masculine was so unsure of themselves, and that's why they did what they did. Because they were they they were frightened because they didn't feel good about themselves, and it's something that's quite 
yeah, standing out that they still have that are still processing why it is that you do actually want them. They've never received or felt love of anybody before, and you come into their life, and it's just like, my goodness. The love was oozing off of you. They could feel it. And I think about how much I love you. I think about how much I love you all the time. I'm thinking about you all the time. You're on my mind constantly. And I feel so lucky. And I just feel so blessed at the fact that you do love me. And that, you, that I can feel this love oozing off of you. But I just, you know, at times it's a struggle to me to believe. Because of what's gone on. Because I did that thing. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm still trying to understand it. But I'm getting there because I'm owning up. I'm taking responsibility. I'm not running from this anymore. I know that it's to do with me. <laughs> um, why, you know, I'm not allowing to receive your love. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this ownership. And I'm so sorry. And I do want the same things as you. And you are certainly the only one. I will ever, ever want, and that's, I'm very, very sure of that because of different things I've gone on and I've always known that, that you are the only one. Um, and I'm trusting that knowing now. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I do hope it resonates and I hope that you're feeling peaceful and it's helped you some in some way to help you understand on a deeper level what the journey is about, what's going on within you, what you're facing within yourself and what's going on with this physical person that's come into your life. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're living. And most importantly, remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, but your soul.